Good morning, YouTube. It's Erin. Welcome to Weigh-In Wednesday. Um, we'll start with the stats, I guess. Whatever. I am five weeks out. Yay, five weeks. That sounds so much closer than, you know, ten. <laughs> out from VSG or vertical sleeve gastrectomy with Dr. Alvarez in Piedras Negras, Mexico at endobariatric. I am five foot seven. My current rate weight is 286 pounds, so up two pounds from last week. Um, and which makes my BMI 44.8. Um, how am I feeling? I feel pretty good. Uh, you know, NASA has landed, so that means that, uh, it's my lady time. So that might account for the two pounds. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter at this point. I, uh, I'm not dieting or anything in anticipation of my surgery. I will have a 10 day liquid diet before my surgery. So until then I'm just eating normally. I am not like a binge eater or I don't eat like exceptionally large amounts or really badly. Like I just, I think I eat like a normal person. I don't know. You know, I, I obviously not since I'm 286 pounds. But anyway, this week, this week or last week really was county fair here in Chautauqua County, Kansas. And we had a very good time. It was the first time that the girls have ever been able to go. It's the first time we've ever had them during fair and rodeo. So that was really cool and they really enjoyed it. Um, they rode the, the swings that go around and around and around. I'll put a picture right here. My self is going to get on those next year. Like, that is an NSV. I'm going to ride those roundy roundy swings. Because my butt will be able to fit in them. So, next year, there's going to be a picture or a video of me on those swings. If it's the last thing I do. So there. Um, we went to the rodeo, had a great time. I wore my boots, um, with my jeans tucked in. They're super tight on the calves. Um, that's another thing I'll be looking forward to is being able to wear my cowboy boots over my jeans and have a little space. So those are two NSVs that I'm looking forward to and I thought I would share with you a list of other NSVs that I really anticipate and I'm looking forward to beyond you know having more energy to play with Jackson um, which is the biggest one and you know my joints not hurting I also really look forward to shopping in I have a list shopping in regular stores like shopping in the store period right now I do 98% of my shopping online I which sucks because I would really like to try on the things I buy before I buy them every once in a while they get here and I don't like them so I'm really looking forward to shopping in stores um, I really want to do like a mud run, like a Tough Mudder or, um, there's something here, uh, I think they do it in Edmond, Oklahoma, called the Dirty 30, and so I really, really want to do one of those. I also really want to do like a glow run or a party run, 
the night ones where you dress up and everybody has glow sticks and glow necklaces and music is playing the whole time and it's more of a big party than really a competitive run. I don't see myself ever being a competitive runner. Um, I'm hot all the time. Hot. My, I re, like, it's a rule. You don't touch me while I'm sleeping because I don't like to be hot. So, cuddling doesn't happen around here. No, get off me. So, I'm really looking forward to the side effect of surgery and rapid weight loss that I've heard so much about, which is being cold. Um, I want to do lots of extreme sport type stuff. I've always wanted to, you know, parasail or bungee jump or skydive zip lining or go on a hot air balloon and the weight limit on those things has prevented me from doing so so i really look forward to being able to do that um buying m not only matching bras and underwear but a bra that doesn't cost 50 dollars. like i want to buy bras at walmart i probably won't buy my bras at walmart because me I would probably shop at Victoria's Secret, but having the option would be so nice. <laughs> um, being comfortable in different venues, we recently went to a movie at our local movie theater, and because of my size, it was just not comfortable to sit next to my husband. Um, I felt like I needed to lean away from him because the chairs are narrow, and I felt like I was really intruding upon his space um same goes for concert venues we've gone to or i've gone to a few concerts in the last year and um it's just not comfortable so really we spend the whole time standing up anyway but it would be nice to be able to sit comfortably in those places and enjoy the show heels i do not wear high heels because they are super painful but I've heard that after surgery that might get better and it might be an option for me so I'm looking forward to that I'm at least looking forward to finding out bracelets I don't wear bracelets why because it makes me look like I have no wrists and I kind of don't look like I have wrists as it is. I've always called it my fans, forearm, hands, like cankles, but fans. So I'm hoping that with thinner arms, I might be able to wear bracelets and feel good about it. My biggest NSV that I'm looking forward to is when I hit my goal weight as an anniversary gift to myself and my husband who is like a super car guy and loves like 40 style pinups I'm gonna go to a photographer who does uh, pinup style shoots and they offer a package to do a full calendar with 12 outfit changes and professional hair and makeup and I'm gonna do that as an anniversary gift to my husband and also just to feel good about myself um I work in a school, um, or I'm getting ready to work in a school, and I'm going to school to become a teacher. So being able to fit in student-sized desks would be a big NSV for me. Um, or just to be able to get, you know, down next to the students and to help them with their work. Let's see. Sitting in the bleachers at sporting events. Currently, that's really hard for me because of my weight it really hurts my back to not have any support so I'm hoping that if I have less weight to hold up that it'll be more comfortable for me um, let's see uh, folding chairs or um, camp chairs or lawn chairs or whatever I always worry that they're gonna bend or break plus my wide butt doesn't fit in them super easily um 
I'm also looking forward to being able to like lay on the couch with Jackson or David especially I can't imagine me and David both fitting on here David's my husband but it's a possibility I've seen other people do it skinny people can do it so maybe I'll be able to do it too but you know just cuddling with Jackson who is my child on the couch and um one I thought of last night when I was watching TV there was a girl in a cute outfit um, for work, she had on like a button-down shirt with a cardigan on over it and a cute pair of jeans and boots. And I thought, oh, she looks so cute. But I could never wear that because I cannot wear button-down shirts because they gap so bad. And so that's another one. Maybe I'll be able to wear a button-down shirt. So that's really all I got for today. Um... I'll see you next week at my four weeks. <laughs> Less than a month. Yay! Um, yeah. I hope everyone has a great week. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so excited to have people watching me and all your wonderful comments about my post last week. Um, it is hard for me to be vulnerable I guess or to share some things that are considered I don't maybe painful that I, for some reason aren't all that painful to me anymore but maybe it's just because I've shared them over the years with many different people and it's just something that happened at this point anyway thank you so much for all your wonderful comments um I really appreciate it I appreciate all of my subscribers and thank you for coming along on my journey with me and I'll see you next week. Bye.